I want to go talk to him. He's hella funny. He's like acting like he works here and shit. Do you mind if we talk to you on camera for a sec? Cool, dude. So, I mean, how, how's everything? How's your day going? Well, it's going pretty fantastic. I don't work here, but I've been like stopping every car that's coming in. And I keep telling them to go to the info tent and reminding them to give them one of these. I don't know why they keep stopping. <laughs> you guys should hang out and see the next car that comes in. I want to see this guy fuck with people. Okay. You make sure that you give them that. I don't even work here, yo. Fuck, have fun. <laughs> I swear to God, I've been standing here for like a couple hours. Yeah. How you feeling? Well, I mean, I'm on a lot of drugs, so I'm feeling pretty great. What kind of drugs? I don't even know. <laughs> I love this guy. Hey, man, thanks for your yeah. time, bro. Anytime. I'm that guy, so. Nice to meet you, Yeah, you are that guy. He's that guy. We are here at Legend Valley in Thornville, Ohio for the 24th annual Gathering of the Juggalos. But before we get into the crazy festivities, I want to give you guys a brief history of who the Juggalos are and what they did to lead to this event today. So what exactly is a Juggalo? In simple terms, it's a diehard fan of the iconic rap duo, the Insane Clown Posse. Hailing from Detroit, ICP burst onto the scene in 1989 with Violent J and Shaggy Two Dope at the helm and quickly made waves with their outrageous live performances and signature horrorcore sound. Their debut album, Carnival of Carnage, introduced the world to their dark carnival concept, a mix of eerie storytelling and theatrical flair. As the Juggalo fanbase exploded, the FBI controversially branded them as an unorganized gang due to the actions of a few. But the annual gathering of the Juggalos is where the community truly shines, celebrating their unique culture with music, comedy, and wrestling. Despite the haters and legal battles, ICP and their fiercely loyal fans continue to embrace their one-of-a-kind, all-inclusive vibe. Alright, we're in. We are in the Gathering of the Juggalos. Within the first hour of exploring the festival, we were welcomed to Camp Wasteland by a juggalo named Dallas. So we're here at Camp Wasteland, we're going to take them down to go get some dabs. They were giving dabs away, they take donations, but it's not necessary. Okay. <coughs> Alright boss, so what brings you to the gathering of the juggalos today? I just want to relax, man. All these fucking drugs, you that get to you and you just need to watch out, you know? Be careful out there. It's all Juggalo love. It is. Okay, so we've been here a little over an hour, and I've already seen a lot of naked people, and people have been giving us dabs. I can definitely say that people here are very, very, very welcoming. And I'm excited to see what goes down. They have THC, slushies, and soda. What's up, boss? Can I get a slushie? Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, that too. Sorry, yeah, we are filming oh, no. stuff. Wait, 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 no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. We're gonna try some THC soda. What got you into this business? Uh, retired gangster rapper. Retired gangster rapper? What's your, what was your rap name? Mickey Ray Sinatra. What, so wait, what exactly do we have here? So what we have here is the highest quality of Get Blitz THC products. Brought to you with our boy Kevin Nash and Sean Oliver. And then we have our medically infused THC Fago slushies. Right now, they're really cultivated at room temperature and delicious. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm down to try a soda. Do you guys take card? Yes, we're oh. a real business. Oh, man. We're oh. a real business. Actual ear. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, my God. That's his ear. That's your ear. Energized by the dabs, 
we wandered over to a stunt show, entitled the Nutshot Pain Olympics, where contestants endured intense pain to their genitals. Better is what you guys think. You guys are going to decide the winner today, but they're going to decide who advances to the final. So we're about to drop this case of beer, a 12-pack to be exact, on Tyler Vick's nutsack. Is it real? Is it full? Is it real? He said it's full. Can I get a woo woo? There's a real fucking nail in here. And that same nail is about to pierce J.J. Allen's testicle. Y'all ready for this dumb shit? Three, two, one! Make some noise for JJ. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your new PR Stunts Not Shot World Champion, JJ Allen. Okay, so I've been here about eight hours now, day one, and I'm pretty drunk and I'm having such an amazing time. It's crazy because we still have three more fucking days to go. <laughs> Shit, you know what I mean? But fuck, let's get crazy. Whoop whoop, baby, whoop whoop. So that's a wrap for day one of the Gathering of the Juggalos. Three more days to go. I'm tired, I need rest, and I will see you guys for day two tomorrow. Alright, back at it. Day two. Still a little drained from yesterday, but we're still going to have a good time, you know? Got the Fago. Let's get it. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, ooh. Show me your butthole. We'll give you a pack. Drop out. Give me the butthole checkpoint. Show us your butthole. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. People just showing butthole out here, dude. It's lit. Three people have shown us their butthole so far. Oh, oh, baby.
After the first ICP show, we attended the Juggalo Championship Wrestling event, where the atmosphere was pure chaos. Fans were hurling bottles and bodies were flying everywhere. The night's standout moment was Madman Pondo, who took hardcore wrestling to a new level, getting his forehead cut open twice by a saw blade attached to a bat. It was a brutal and intense spectacle that captured the raw energy of the night. Alright, that concludes day two. Fucking crazy night. Ended the day with some wrestling and ICP. Had a great time. Hey guys, what's going on here? What's up with the barbed wire? Stunt show? Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, are you nuts alright from yesterday? Uh, they're a little cut up. I got like some good <laughs> lacerations down there, but... Fuck. Yeah, my right one's a little purple. Shit. Dude, get a look. Dude, this thing's fucking crazy. Oh my god. So they have a recovery tent. Juggalos in recovery. Free Narcan. That's pretty cool. They have meetings. I like that. Let's go check it out. Hi guys. Do you guys mind? Do you guys mind being on camera talking about what this is about? So my name is Bobby. Um, I am one of the founding members of Wicked Clowns Harm Reduction. In 2021, I decided to bring harm reduction to the gathering. I felt like, you know, at most major like music festivals, there's some kind of harm reduction, and the gathering didn't have that. And like Juggalos really need that. We need that in this community. We need to look out for each other like we always have. This year, we decided to go bigger. We got a booth. Um, I made a thousand safer use snorting kits. 100 boofing kits, 100 nasal spray kits, and I brought approximately 2,000 doses of Narcan. We've got Plan B, condoms, lube, like over-the-counter meds, like anything that you need, we've got it. This is a safe space, and we just want to take care of you and keep the drug low safe. Like, do you think this kind of festival has like a really bad stereotype of drugs and all this weird stuff? Um, no, I wouldn't say it's any different than any other like music scene or festival scene. I think that Maybe we're just a little more like in your face with our substance use than other festivals. Um, like it's, this festival is totally different than any other festival thing, but we definitely have more like open drug use <laughs> than other festivals do. And you know, not everybody who uses has like a bad relationship with substances or has substance use disorder. A lot of people just want to party for a night or the weekend or whatever. And we just want to keep everybody safe regardless of what your relationship with substances is. And you know, only you can define that. Like if you have an unhealthy or healthy relationship, that's between you. We're here to support you regardless. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm here with Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar. What's going on, guys? Not much, dog. Just enjoying the fucking gathering. I mean, you got any advice for anybody out here for the Juggalos? Don't take two hits of acid. Take one. <laughs> what about you? If your friend's going to take two hits of acid, be prepared to babysit. <laughs> you guys having a good time, though, so far? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Every time of my life. Well, thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate you guys. Whoop whoop! And I am at the gathering of the jugglers with my friend Marco from California. And we are looking for people that play hockey. Excuse me? No, dude, excuse you. Do you want to see um, uh, my friend the butthole? Dude, they're doing that up there, so I don't know if you guys got buttholes that can compete to these. 100% ready? This is what we call the forehead, the, the forehead butthole right here. Look at that forehead butthole right there. That is a beautiful diamond forehead. All right, I will tell you, on any other circumstance, you'd pay five bucks for this photo moment, but uh, these guys were very generous.
After a few drinks and watching several women step into the ring for some boxing matches, I made the spontaneous decision to join the action and take a swing myself. I'm out here at the gathering, dude. I love this shit. It changed my life. I've been down since I was like eight. My uncle got me in it. And you know, a lot of us go through a lot of rough shit and we just come here to spread love, try to be positive. Anybody's welcome. First timers right here. Like, it don't matter who you are or what you do. We got a spot for you, dog. Come out and hang out. And so like, I got into this shit real young and I found some good homies and they just pulled me out of the darkness. I used to have a lot of demons and shit. And now I'm doing pretty good, bro. I just smoke weed and stay to myself. I work now. I was always told you're gonna be in prison. You're gonna be just like your dad and shit. <clears throat> I just try to be good to people because good will come your way, you know? I don't care if you don't know the music. I don't care if you don't know anything, you know? Come and experience. The experience itself is worth it. You know, whatever. It's what you make out of it. You've been doing great and you've been doing great. You know what I mean? Like, I'm proud of both of y'all. My first year was 2019. I met a homie, Kid, shout out Kid from New York. Dude, he showed me so much love. That's why I'm like this. When I gather, I'm making sure you feel welcome. You're getting a hug, water, food, like, but that's all of us, you know? It's not just me, that's all of us. That's what we try to be about, bro. Like, I wanna cry, bro. We're about to leave and shit. I don't wanna leave. Like, this shit does mean a lot to us. It's not just music. It's not just partying and getting fucked up. You know what I mean? There's so much more. I'm giving out hugs, you know, man. Dude, I just stay in my room most times. Like, when I come here, this is me getting out, you know? So I, I like meeting new people, but I wanna keep in contact. That's something I'm striving for. When we gather, the love don't have to stop just because we're all going home, bro. Fuck that. I'll hit you guys up. I met a lot of good new homies this year, bro. Like a lot, dude. I feel really loved this year, for real, bro. It's awesome. I don't want to leave, for real. Like, I want to see you next year, dude, for real. I'll be upset if I don't see you next year. Like, if you can't make it next year, you better fucking be here the year after, you know what I mean? Like, for real, for real. You too, Pots. The gathering gonna last forever! Despite the rain, nothing could hold us back during DJ Paul's set. The weather didn't stand a chance against the energy of the crowd as we kept the party going strong. After the final ICP show, security started letting fans jump the barrier and make their way onto the main stage. I figured, why not? So I joined in and got up there to take in the view of the crowd from the spotlight.
biggest fucking beach ball I've ever seen, man. After everything was cleaned up, we kept the party going for a bit longer, caught a screening of The Shining in the movie tent, and finally called it a night. Someone gave me this earlier. I don't know if I should take it or not. Meet Jesus Saves Juggalos an organization that blends faith with the Juggalo culture in a way that's as unexpected as it is intriguing. While wandering through the event, I noticed their tent with the logo resembling the iconic Hatchet Man, only this time, he was holding a cross. Curious about this unique twist, I asked for an interview, and they were more than eager to share their story. Okay, so you guys really caught my eye at a place like this, so I was wondering who are you guys and what is your message to everybody out there in the world? We're a Jesus for Juggalos, the, the, the head of the ministry, he was locked up and he was a Juggalo. And, he, and, and when he was locked up, Jesus came to him and said, hey, um, I love the Juggalos. And so he released them to go minister to the Juggalos, to minister the gospel to the Juggalos. The people think they're misfits and they're forgotten. Nah, Jesus loves them. And so we basically take the gospel to their front door and we give them free water, um, free lunches, free fago, and and free prayer. We pray for them. You wouldn't believe how many people say, "Yeah, pray for me." Yeah, pray for me, because it it, it can get dangerous around here sometimes. You know, um, just anywhere you get a bunch of people together, it can get dangerous. So we're here just to show them Jesus and tell them Jesus and and just be an example. Yeah, I, I came along. Probably 2016 after my cousin Anthony passed away. Uh, he was the youngest out of us. Uh, he was also a juggalo. Um, we kept talking about like getting together and at the time I had became a passionate Christian and I'm like fired up and he was going through like about a depression and we kept talking about getting together. Well then I get that message from his mom that he's in the hospital, his heart's going out and he's gone. So. It's too late at that particular moment. But then we're at his funeral and probably like 30 juggalos show up and they're like at the funeral. And so uh, then they talk about going to the gathering. I'm like, you know, hey, I heard there's a ministry up there too. So I'm like, I need to like reach out to those guys. Came out and I'm like, all right. I couldn't say these things to my cousin who I thought, you know, I had more time with. But now maybe I can go and say something to other people's cousins and the people who they wish they had more time with. Uh, this is a subculture, and it's a subculture where they're told they're less than, they're nothing. And if you believe that and you put that around in your mind, you're going to like live that kind of mindset. So we want to like let people know that you don't have to stay there. You don't have to live there. And that's kind of why I'm here and why everyone else is here too. So, like, how, what percentage of Juggalos do you really think are Christian? And do you guys, have you guys ever dealt with any, like, like, I don't know, some sort of weird disrespect or some weird looks for being here at all? I'm new. This is only my second time. We, um, me and another brother, we walked out on the grounds um, last year. And we were hanging out with everybody. And they would see the shirt. And everybody showed us the utmost respect. Because we just showed up. Well, we came over and over and over again. Oh, I came here and um, um, my mom, had, my mom's uh, heart hurt, and we prayed for it, and she got healed. You know, like over, over and over and over on repeat. People were telling us um, testimonials of how Jesus loved Juggalos helped them. I was like, wow. I was like, wow, go God. 
and you go in there, and they uh, some a lot of the music is demonic. A lot of the music, so so we should naturally be their enemy. You see a a a a a, 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 um, a juggalo guy with a cross, that should be your enemy if your um, if your music is focused on sa Satan. But everybody showed us the utmost respect. It 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 was it shocked me. It was amazing. But thank you guys so much for your time. I just really wanted to get to know you guys, and this was really interesting to me. So thank you guys so much for talking to me. Thank you guys so much. Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah, you guys? Yeah. Sounds good. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Seriously. And that's a wrap on what was easily the wildest weekend of my life. Everywhere I went, there was something going on. Entertainment around every corner, and the vibe was just so welcoming. The music? Absolutely on point. ICP really knows how to put on a show, no question. This is an experience I'll never forget. Now let's be real, I'm not a juggalo, but after this gathering, I've got so much more respect for the juggalo community. It's a place where you can truly let loose and not worry about what others think. A place of zero judgment. And yeah, I can't forget about the free dabs and well, the unexpected sights. This is a place I never thought I'd find myself, but I'm so glad I did. I'm already hoping I get the chance to come back someday. Big shout out to the entire Juggalo family for all the love and good vibes. And with that, whoop whoop, see you in the next one.